what's up guys so today i would be going forward with css and commenting part as to how to add new comment on our system which we developed previously so let me open what we developed previously in the browser from there on we will continue with just give it a moment to open it so as you can see that from the previous tutorial we were rendering this comment through the javascript object and to show you the object when you go into js into the script file this was our object right so now in index.html I will create a form to create a form elements mainly text box we have to write input type is equal to text give it a ID of name and just write here name so that there is a label I am not designing this I am just showing you the functionality right now later on if I have time then I will design it also date input type date id is equal to date and last is your break tag is just breaking it into a new line body this is text area rows should be 5 and column should be 30 text area and give it an id of body text so I will wrap this inside the div div class of form I will close the div out just indent the code little bit now let's see how it looks like and I will uh, just put one object right now I will delete all the other objects So when I run this, as you can see that I have form available. <coughs> okay. Now inside it, let me do something. It's not looking lines, so I will define one. Uh, CSS for it so I have defined class as form I will give padding as 10 pixel border as 1 pixel solid hash black color margin as 10 pixel now form input I am uh, targeting the uh, form class and this input tag as well as text area okay. so I have to say form text area right so I will put border as one pixel solid hash black color and padding as pixel okay and uh, I will define uh, width as three hundred pixel for everything when I save this when I run this file now you can see that it is looking little bit pretty right so I have to bring space between these two 
so the one simple way to do it is to add the break tag I am not going into CSS part, I am just cleaning the form, that's it. Save it. Right? So our form is looking little bit good. And in between uh, the dev tag, what I can do is that an h5 header tag, I can define add comment. Save this file run this file and you can see that there is a text of add comment <coughs> so uh, I have to make a center so I will say form h5 text align to be center so add comment text would be in center when I refresh this as you can see that add comment is in center okay so uh, uh, I think so uh, this is it pretty much for the styling part just to add one more part I have to add a break tag to add a submit button right input type button ID add comment value as add comment right if I save this then you will see the submit button also right <clears throat> okay the reason why uh, it is expanding like this add comment is because in style.css since we are targeting input tag right so what you can do uh, in order to avoid this problem you have to select only text and date right so you can put input type is equal to text like this copy this up and you can paste it here but for that we need date right so it will apply only for this not for button so as you can see that button is becoming normal right and to make I think so um, let's make everything to be center text align center save this then we don't need this I think so save this file yep so everything made as a center part right okay okay so we have to uh, if the user fills the form then we have to add it right the text so we have to uh, catch the click event of button so I will wrap this code this is using jQuery uh, so until and unless all HTML elements are not rendered on the page so this uh, code will not get executed so I will put everything when all the elements of HTML is loaded on the page. Okay. Now what I will do, uh, I have to reuse this. I have to reuse this. So what I will do, I will create one function with the render name and then inside I will pass data as an object okay and here I will write I will cut this up I will paste it here but here in this parameter we are passing data as an object so I'm now here comment I know I will pass data data not name data dot date and data dot body right so I will append it inside the container okay 
so yeah so basically now to render it when it is loading so I have to call render of we are passing data as an object so comment of I right so it will pass individual and it will append it to that page right we will see the reason why I split it this in a function so now when a button is clicked right so I have given button with an ID of add comment so inside my script so this is how you handle the click event of a button in jQuery wherever you are seeing, will, uh, seeing the sign of dollar it means that it's a jQuery so when when you click on add button right so what I have to do is I have to first of all append it in a comment array right so I have to define one JSON object so where add object is equal to I will add name right I will add date right and I will add body so name it should be uh, you have to uh, retrieve the value from this text box so every input element is having ID of name date and body text right so you have to say dollar hash name dot value okay similarly hash date dot value similarly hash body text slash value right now after defining this object right now for debugging purpose I can not console dot log add obj right and then I have to push this element to an comment array so I will write comment dot push and add obj right so it will add it inside this array now okay now after adding it then I have to show it in the UI that is why I will call render so I can reuse this function right that is why I split it into the function part so if I save this I save every file now if I run this as you can see that there is only one comment right now so if I write again some name select some date select some body date and if I add it see you get the result out here right so the second one and uh, just just to uh, make this clear because once I add it then there is no need to populate this data you have to uh, make everything as empty right so it's very easy uh, in the click event when you do everything then what you can do uh, you can uh, take this val to be empty value date to be dd month month y y y y and body text value should be also empty <coughs> excuse me so if I refresh this page this data would be gone uh, because we are just storing it inside the variable so in a memory so when I refresh this this data is gone but if again I add it
you see that everything got changed to its proper place <coughs> right so this is how you add a comment now you would be wondering okay the data is getting added here and as soon as I type anything I choose the date and this is just a comment and I add it okay that's nice everything is getting added and I am getting the data out of it but what about if I want to store this do data locally so what we should do in JavaScript so that when I again revisit this page or refresh this page my data is not lost so here comes the concept of database however we are not going to be connected to a database so we would be looking into HTML5 storage API for the next tutorial also uh, I would be uh, designing much more cleaner UI because uh, 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 now we are able to add the comment so I think so for adding a comment we should have a separate page to add it and then it should be refresh and uh, the user in one page the user will be able to see all the comments so that's it for today tutorial stay tuned to tech help and uh, get benefit out of these tutorials and if in between you are facing any difficulty please let me know also after uh, finishing all the tutorials I will provide you with the source code uh, so if you are stuck you can look into that source code and that will help you out many thanks for all your time have a nice day bye everyone